uh, everybody. It's great to be back here in the PCF uh, World Summit and in this great uh, venue in, in Berlin. And first of all, <clears throat> I would like to thank very much the organizers to uh, give us this opportunity to present uh, our national uh, experimentation on consumer product, environmental uh, footprint, and uh, communication. I will start with a, a few uh, photos taken from a media uh, event uh, that uh, we organized with the, uh, the French uh, Minister for Sustainable Development, uh, Ecology, Housing and Transport, uh, Nathalie kosciusko morizet with a panel of uh, companies involved in the national experimentation and that took place uh, on the 5th of October in the Ministry. This was a media operation uh, directed towards uh, the press, obviously, and journalists. The photos might be a bit small, but anyway, it's just uh, an introduction. Then I want to show you uh, pictures and proposals and labels from a panel of uh, projects. And that's uh, in the next uh, diaporama. Uh, I'm going to go quite quickly through, through it because uh, it would be too long to uh, take time uh, on each uh, label or, or picture. But uh, if you are interested, uh, you can find it uh, on the internet. Uh, the web link uh, was already circulated uh, by uh, Thema1. Uh, and uh, I will put, uh, you will find the web link again at the end of my uh, presentation. <coughs> it's just really. Uh, to show you the, the wealth and diversity of the, of the projects uh, from, from the companies uh, and the diversity uh, of um, communication format uh, proposals. Uh, for ex you, you will find, uh, um, of course, the carbon footprint, uh, which was compulsory in the uh, experimentation, uh, additional uh, logos for other environmental indicators, uh, there is a lot of creativity uh, on the logos. You, you have some uh, relative scales. Uh, you will find uh, global marks, um, um, color codes, and, and, and so on. This one, quite interesting, inspired from the uh, AG uh, energy label, like other projects, actually took inspiration from this one. So here you have three environmental indicators, as well as a, a relative uh, scale. You see quite uh, interesting creativity in terms of uh, communication. <coughs> we'll have a presentation from Casino today. This one is uh, interesting, like, like many others, obviously, but uh, it um, uh, provides, it's, it may be a bit small on the screen, but uh, you can find it on the internet. It's, it's, it's wine, obviously, and um, they, they propose a simplification of the environmental message. For, for example, the, the carbon footprint is associated with a, a, um, the equivalent uh, in uh, car uh, CO2 emissions or the water, the water use 
the equivalent in uh, shower time in order to uh, simplify the, the communication to, for the consumers. Opcube is, is here as well. So I'm passing quite uh, quickly, obviously, uh, but it's really to show you the, once again the, the, the diversity of, of the proposals, and that's the spirit of the experimentation, really, is to uh, create a dynamic and to get uh, proposals and creativity from business in order to evaluate, look at the different options, draw lessons, for the best uh, options uh, forward for the future. This is a service, it's quite interesting, it's, it's a hotel. This is quite a complete uh, label uh, with, uh, you have five indicators, uh, individual relative scales for each uh, indicator and a global mark. I'm sorry, maybe it's not uh, uh, very visible on the screen, but once again, you can find it on the internet and they also communicate on the shelves. There is also a, a variety of proposals for uh, communication means uh, we have uh, <coughs> 20 uh, projects uh, communicating uh, in the shops including six uh, on the shelves uh, we we have uh, also uh, 20, 20 uh, communicating directly on the products with the uh, labels uh, on the products uh, so the, the closest uh, possible to the consumer uh, we have very innovative uh, communication uh, options like uh, smartphone applications uh, and uh, flash codes, these kind of things. And uh, most of the projects are communicating on internet, either exclusively or on top of other communication means, which will allow us uh, to also uh, look uh, at the complementarity of the different uh, communication uh, means and, and places. Was that orange? Orange, uh, they are associated with the WWF. Interestingly, they are uh, expanding their experimentation uh, in Europe. Uh, you, you can see it on the, on the map uh, there uh, uh, at the bottom. This is an example of um, information uh, in a shop, as well as on the product. SFR, mobile phone operator, they started uh, to communicate, like Orange actually, to communicate uh, in, the sh in the shops, in their shops, uh, across the country, um, they even started before the experimentation official launch. Here, uh, this uh, smartphone uh, application. So you can flash uh, a code on the, on the product or on a shelf and you get the environmental information on your smartphone. Here, interestingly, we, 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 we see uh, 
Coca-Cola and PepsiCo working together, which is interesting. We also have interesting uh, sector and supply side uh, cooperation taking place, and that's also uh, interesting in this experimentation. Okay, I think I've uh, finished with this one. Um, additional illustrations, please. I'm going to show you a few more examples. We find here again the, the smartphone application. It's just a bigger picture. This one is the one uh, developed by uh, the consultancy uh, Greenext. This is uh, information uh, in a Levi's uh, shop. The information they also provide on the internet. And uh, now I'm going to yeah, this one, please. Uh, explain to you how we got there. So the context uh, for this national experimentation, the, the policy uh, context. The, the legal basis. The legal basis for the national experimentation is in the Gronel II environmental framework law, which was adopted uh, in July 2010, and that uh, <coughs> introduces the possibility for legal requirements uh, to have carbon and environmental indicators on consumer products on the basis of the results of the national experimentation that we are conducting at the moment. The, the main principles uh, for uh, the consumer product uh, environmental footprinting system that uh, we are developing uh, since 2008, uh, first of all, we address product and packaging, uh, life cycle approach, obviously, and uh, multi-criteria. Uh, this is an essential principle uh, for us, the multi-criteria approach. The carbon footprint uh, is very uh, important for us as well. It's, it's a horizontal uh, indicator for all product uh, categories. Having said that, uh, we believe that in order to uh, give uh, an accurate uh, environmental uh, assessment of a product, uh, it's better to also look at uh, other main uh, environmental impacts uh, and also in relation to uh, EU and international uh, political uh, agenda uh, related, for example, to uh, resource efficiency, biodiversity, the green economy. Uh, we, we, we have taken since the start this multi-criteria approach also to be more faithful to the LCA spirit. Uh, I'm not going to be too long about the governance uh, and uh, tool and methods uh, development uh, since 2008 because uh, Maybe some of you have already seen my presentation before, and also uh, Adem is going to uh, present uh, an update uh, this afternoon. So this is the Adem Afnor stakeholder platform, uh, developing the methods and the tools. Adem is the French uh, environment agency, and Afnor is the French standardization organization. This is the list of sector working groups uh, working uh, on the development of product category rules. Uh, these working groups are co-chaired uh, by uh, the industry association and by ADEM. Uh, 
So this is a quick recap uh, of uh, our state of play on um, tool uh, and method uh, development. I think what is important to say is that uh, we are developing uh, LCA-based, uh, simplified tools and methodologies. Uh, that is to say, uh, a general uh, framework, uh, a general calculation methodology. It's the BPX uh, 30, 3 to 3. Uh, product category rules, a generic database, and calculators. The aim, really, of this footprinting system is to simplify uh, the, the footprinting and to try to reduce as much as possible the costs uh, for uh, doing this, this footprinting. Since, ultimately, uh, we aim uh, towards a product uh, differentiation. So our product category rules, for example, they have uh, maximum uh, up to five uh, environmental indicators for the measurement and maximum three environmental indicators uh, for the communication. And these indicators, for example, are the, the level of uh, what will be required uh, in terms of primary data and what will be allowed in terms of uh, generic data. All these decisions, obviously, are taken uh, on a consensus basis uh, within the working groups. ADEM is currently constructing the generic uh, database. I'm not going to be too long on that because uh, uh, I think uh, they will provide uh, information this afternoon as well. The, <coughs> the, the, the IT tool is finished, and ADEM is currently uh, negotiating agreements uh, with uh, existing um, generic databases uh, in, in Europe and in the world in order to uh, uh, adapt and import uh, their data into our, our database. So in France, uh, uh, like in other countries, uh, since 2008, um, we, we've already had uh, some uh, really interesting uh, pilot projects uh, on the market, uh, focusing on the carbon footprint, and mainly uh, driven by uh, retailers. The Casino one, of course, is um, uh, one of the most uh, famous ones. And now uh, we want to go uh, multi-criteria, and we are experimenting uh, multi-criteria. These are uh, the terms of the call for projects uh, from uh, the end of last year. What was required uh, is that the projects have to quantify the environmental impacts and communicate them to the consumers. They have to uh, be consistent uh, with the BPX, so the general uh, frame and uh, method calculation methodology, and take, obviously, a uh, LCA approach. Uh, concerning shoes, uh, they have to comply with the, the adopted PCR because our first uh, uh, adopted PCR was on this uh, product category. Uh, they have to provide uh, the carbon footprint in absolute figures. They have to be multi-criteria, that is to say at least uh, one more uh, environmental criteria on top of carbon. And they have to last at least, at least one year. Having said that, there is also uh, quite an important level of flexibility, uh, and that was important uh, if we take into account the, the, the quite tight calendar that we also imposed uh, and that was introduced by the, the Parliament. Uh, the flexibility is on the, the communication uh, format, the communication mean, and that was also this flexibility done on purpose in order to uh, get uh, all the, this variety of uh, proposals from, from industry. Um, Flexibility on the choice of uh, the environmental indicators other than uh, carbon. And the starting date as well. Uh, projects uh, can uh, start between the 1st of July and the 1st of December this year. The process, um, so we launched the call for projects uh, <coughs> Sorry, on the 3rd of November last year. 
We closed the call on the 31st of December. We got 230 applications from all sectors. We assessed, obviously, these uh, applications and selected 168 projects. At the end of the experimentation, uh, we will uh, perform an evaluation of the experimentation and uh, thereafter uh, forward a report to the Parliament. The company type uh, involved in this experimentation is uh, quite well uh, balanced uh, from uh, small uh, and medium uh, enterprises uh, to big groups, uh, multinationals. Here you have also uh, the share of the different uh, product type. Uh, one third of food and drink. You also find uh, clothing and textile, shoes, uh, stationary products, electric and electronic goods, outdoor products, uh, construction, retail uh, projects, obviously, lighting, hotels. So what are we going to assess uh, in the evaluation? First of all, the consumer reaction, um, obviously. Uh, by uh, evaluating uh, the efficiency of the different uh, communication uh, formats and means, uh, and also the understanding uh, of uh, these uh, communication formats, labels, and so on, by, by the consumer. Uh, do, do they understand the information? Uh, do, do they find it important to be provided with environmental information on the products? Uh, however, we are not going to um, assess any kind of behavior or changes uh, in consumption because we, 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 we do not believe that uh, uh, the, the experimentation covers uh, enough uh, products uh, in, in quantity uh, and is long enough to uh, affect in, in, in any way uh, consumer behavior at, at this stage. Of course, we are going to evaluate uh, technical feasibility uh, and, and, and draw, draw lessons uh, from, from the projects uh, in relation to issues such as data, indicators, uh, calculation methods, and uh, the transparency of the footprinting as well. Uh, the impacts uh, on the brand and on the corporate uh, image. Um, the advantages and the, the, the drawbacks uh, that uh, the companies taking part in the experimentation will have uh, taken from, from this uh, trial, uh, the costs, uh, but there uh, we, we will evaluate the costs uh, it's in experimental conditions because um, the, the costs when the whole footprinting system uh, will be ready, uh, should, should be lower, because the public authorities, uh, ADEM, will provide uh, tools uh, for businesses uh, in order to ease the footprinting and reduce uh, the costs, including uh, generic uh, database and online calculators. We will evaluate the effects on the supply chain, uh, other kind of uh, effects on, 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 on businesses, for example, internal cooperation uh, between uh, uh, the uh, environmental department and the communication and marketing departments um, and uh, market surveillance. Uh, so the, the projects are asked um, to give uh, self-evaluation at the end of the experimentation. There will also be a common questionnaire to all the companies, specific sector interviews, control tests uh, by the market surveillance authorities, and uh, opinions uh, from consumer, uh, and I should have uh, added, environmental NGOs. Um, two words as well on the governance uh, of the experimentation. Uh, there is a multi-stakeholder uh, steering committee, and there is also an inter-ministerial uh, committee. 
On the basis of all this, uh, we will send a, a report to the Parliament. Now, the first uh, lessons from uh, the beginning of this experimentation, and this is my last slide. Uh, first of all, obviously, the success of the call for projects uh, and, and the very important uh, business mobilization and involvement. And uh, uh, we, we, we have to salute, really, uh, the, 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 the work, the involvement, the dynamic, the creativity. Uh, that is uh, brought uh, into this uh, experimentation. The wealth and diversity, once again, of the proposal, proposals uh, uh, regarding labels, indicators, communication. Uh, interesting uh, things uh, in uh, sector and supply chain corporations, interest uh, from the international level. Uh, and obviously some technical issues related to data or uh, calculation methods on some uh, specific impacts are already arising from, from some of the projects and, and this is uh, normal and this, this is why, what we uh, expected. Uh, and uh, these questions are already uh, brought up uh, to the sectoral working groups in the platform in order to follow up and uh, look for improvements and solutions. Uh, we will uh, uh, have uh, more to say uh, at the, the next uh, summit, uh, notably concerning uh, technical uh, issues or evaluation. And uh, I, was, I was thinking uh, maybe a, a friendly uh, suggestion to uh, our friends in uh, Thema One. Uh, since we are talking more and more about environmental footprint, why not uh, thinking about the possible option of uh, changing the name from, you know, PCF Summit to uh, a PEF Summit. Thank you very much. Um,